Hi guys, Brad Heath here with Double D Trailers. Thanks for sharing your time with me. So I just wanted to take a few moments to go over this horse trailer that uh, it's a custom design that we did build and ship to Australia. I think you'll really like it. We were able to get in there one, two, three, four horses. You'll notice the horses are standing at a perpendicular, uh, so not the normal you know, slant configuration as we uh, normally do. These horses were a little bit on the smaller side. So uh, yeah, based on the customer's request, we were able to uh, get four horses in there and then over a, over a 14 foot living quarters and yet keeping the overall bots length down to, uh, I think under just under 26 feet there. So a lot of things going on here. Uh, the rear ramp storage compartment underneath the front horse's heads, <clears throat> bunk beds. Uh, the, our customer actually has three children, three small children, so we did configure enough space for, uh, of course you could sleep adults on these beds, not necessarily a child, uh, comfortably. An L-shaped dinette or uh, seating section with the removable table, uh, the shower area, the saddle compartment, really nice closet storage area, floor to ceiling. We'll take a look at that later in the uh, video. And then also uh, more storage there and then some really cool cabinet space. So we'll go ahead and get started rolling here through the video as I uh, just try to walk through and narrate some of these features for you guys. Now, once we get into the living quarters, it's just really beautiful. Of course, the, the colors were selected by our customer. And I think she did a really good job on that with the stainless appliances, uh, the color of the wood. I like the, the light colored walls the pull out flat screen television things like that now one thing that uh we did do let me just take a yeah you can get a shot of it right there so nice uh real wood crown molding throughout which is uh just a feature that i really enjoy now as i climb up into the bed area we're just wanting to display the day night combination shades oftentimes living quarter Trailers are built with uh, shade like you would see in your home, a, a blind, so to speak. And those just do not work well while traveling down the road. So uh, this would be the daytime function so that light can come through. And then, of course, the nighttime function so that light cannot come through. Yeah, guys just did a wonderful job on the lighting, the ceiling, the fixtures, the moldings are all handmade. Uh, we put a convenient light switch up at the front there so you can turn that off and on while you're in the bed. Now the cabinets uh, are solid wood. We did not use a pre uh, a press board or what's referred to as a laminated cabinet. These are real wood cabinets and in Australia you want to be careful not to purchase a laminated cabinet. The road conditions are definitely more harsh than what we have here in the States. And so it's important to get something that's made of real wood because uh, I actually have a customer now we're working with that has filed a complaint, not with us. She purchased another brand of trailer and now uh, her cabinets are, are, she's just having some issues. We'll leave it at that. And uh, she's requested a full refund from the manufacturer and looking to uh, order a double D trailer. Okay, uh, so we did some nice, um, Oh, the, the, the sink covers, and those things are solid. Uh, and of course the purpose there, so you can have more counter space. You don't have to worry about those while you're driving coming out. I like the high rise faucet. And of course the nickel or satin finish. Now this is a, uh, a refrigerator. It is designed for Australia. It's the, uh, the 240 volt. 12 volt which operates off of the battery power and then it also will function off of uh, propane or gas okay and it does have a freezer up in the top now the recessed burner uh, is a, an automatic ignition so you would turn the knob and uh, press the, uh, the the spark on that and it will uh, ignite for you I didn't have the gas turned on so uh, we didn't show that feature, but I, I really like the recessed portion and how it's all nice and flush there. And of course, uh, being able to just stand at the 
cooking area and see outside and, and really look at the finish on the valances there and the wood trim and that nice it all looks really really good now the microwave in this unit is a convection that's not standard it's something that the customer requested as an option so uh, <clears throat> she wanted the ability to do some browning i believe and my understanding is that's the purpose of the convection oven Again, just more count cabinet and storage space. You can never have enough storage space in such a small uh, area. So we really try to utilize every available inch for you guys as possible. So that's a good shot of the television. Uh, I think that's around a 19 inch flat screen. It does swing around as you can see. So if you want to stand at the sink, your ladies while your husband washes the dishes and you kick back outside underneath the awning having a cold beverage so us guys could watch maybe the football game or something or whatever you, you would want to do and of course you could also watch that while you're sitting uh, at the L-shaped bench seating area you could also see it while you're laying down on the mattress up front so just more storage space um, I think what we're trying to display here is the uh, just the moldings and the attention to detail how everything is sealed so you don't have to worry about water running up underneath the uh, the edge of the molding there we've got all of that uh, nice and finished the rounded corners on the cabinetry you just don't see that detail in a lot of trailers and of course the flip up counter extension is something that I always recommend now this is the hidden or retractable screen door and I closed the door on the outside just so you could see that otherwise it would show up black with the camera. I love these screen doors, uh, they just retract out of the way when not in use. So yeah, and of course that's the purpose of that screen guys is to keep bugs out. When you have the dress door open you could close that screen off and of course uh, allow air and light to come through and the bugs to stay on the outside. <clears throat> now for the uh, for the dress door window I have installed the day night combination shades on those as well with the valance. It seems to be a lot of stuff working on a door that swings back and forth. What we found to be more effective is just uh, uh, this nice curtain it snaps on and if you want to allow the light to come through you could either just roll it up or you know remove the snaps and uh, lay it in one of the closets there so just really functional I like how all the switches are conveniently located in one spot to control the uh, the exterior lighting interior lights of course that's the, the tank monitor system the black <clears throat> the black underneath the the, uh, the switches there which I'm pressing right now and that tank monitor will show a battery power, fresh water, gray water, things of that nature. And the switch on the bottom there that I just flipped would be to ignite the hot water system. Now this is a removable pedestal table. We designed this according to the customer's uh, specifications. It's what she was looking for. And I think it turned out very well. So, you know, I'm a, uh, I'm five foot 10, I weigh about 170, 180 pounds. And there's enough room, you know, for me to sit down. I think you could do probably one or two more adults on the opposite side. So I think you could sit three people here. And we're just trying to demonstrate how this table will uh, remove Yes, you could lay it up on the bed area while traveling, perhaps underneath, uh, there's some storage underneath those compartments there, and I think that table will fit there, or inside of one of the closets too. Now, as we move on, what we're displaying here, so the, uh, the system up top, the white knobs would be to control the air conditioning system, and then uh, the black down underneath the rectangular squares for the stereo. It has inside, outside speakers. Um, I believe the television uh, even plays through this particular system and the DVD player is all mounted in that. Now the, the ducted roof air, 
uh, we'll back up and get it. Well, just a ducted roof air. It's nice and smooth. It blows out of the vents in the top, and I do highly recommend that ducted air versus a forced air unit. We're just showing the bunk beds here. Uh, again, I'm 5'10", and you can see there's plenty of space for me. Uh, I have a lot of uh, an ample amount of headroom to get up and down. Uh, I did have to mount the lowest bunk uh, down in the floor. So there's one, and then a second one there, and then a third up top. And the reason that we did that is just to try to maintain the maximum amount of clearance so that uh, you know, when you guys are laying down in the bed, it doesn't feel claustrophobic. So I was really happy about the way that turned out. Now, here's one of the full height closets that we did. Uh, I was really impressed. The guys do, uh, we, we build in some lips, so to speak, on the edge of the shelf so you don't have to worry about items rolling out while you're traveling. I also did, yeah, so the, the, the shelf won't bounce out either while you're traveling. So we've got um, little pieces on the top and on the bottom to hold that shelf firmly in place. Now, this is a full height closet that uh, the customer requested. We have a closet rod up in the top. We also did shelving in there. And of course, if you don't want to use the shelving, you would just remove the pegs, lay the shelving down in the bottom, and it easily converts to a hanging closet versus a uh, uh, storage area with, with vertical spaces. And guys, that turned out to be a honking big closet. <clears throat> now, these drawers, I was really impressed with these drawers and I'll show you why. Check this out. Automatically closes. Watch that. I gotta do it again. Watch it. It just closes automatically. <laughs> I have to get some of those in my house. Of course my kids would probably break them. I'm really not sure how those function, but I was very impressed with them. You know, just little things guys, like uh, we did a uh, what I was showing there was so when you open the door, my kids would do that. They would actually uh, uh, you know, smack the uh, smack the bunk beds, and so we had a, a nice stop there to prevent the door from just banging against the wood. Now, as we're standing in the bathroom, uh, it's very tight quarters. I do apologize, but we did a vent over the top there. Everything's nice and finished. Check out that molding. Uh, the shower is quite functional. We had a glass shower door on there, a uh, walkthrough door from the horse area to the back. We hung a couple of towel bars, and then to uh, to the left of your screen. Uh, over right in here, that's going to be the saddle compartment which is accessible from the outside. So there's no toilet in this particular setup and that is per the customer request which is often the case uh, for units going to Australia. Now I believe our customer, we did some ties in there, she was planning to haul a uh, like a vertical tack trunk of some sort. So uh, we just added in some ties to where uh, she could uh, haul that trunk without any problems there. Okay, so uh, looks like our video is over. We uh, certainly appreciate your time. And for more information, check out our website at www.doubledtrailers.com. Thanks so much.